Well, welcome back. John Leguizamo's career has been as wide-ranging as someone can have in Hollywood, from starring roles in movies like Moulin Rouge, John Wick, and Encanto, to his critically acclaimed one-man shows. Yeah, and for his new series, Leguizamo Does America, produced by NBC News Studios and airing on MSNBC, he, he serves as a travel host and interviewer for a look at the nation's thriving Latino communities, including the cafe, cafecito, and food that fuels them. Take a look. Latin people love community, and we come up with all these little rituals, get connected, to talk, to share those moments. It's, to it's, meet people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We really live for that moment, for that mm -hmm. connection. All right, so here's something you'll easily get addicted oh to. God. Cuban pastries. You know that this is one of my favorite uh -huh. desserts in the whole really? entire planet. Really? Mm. Smells good. Mm. Mm. I do so love good. Stuff. Before we kick this off, this Take interview it. off. Yeah. I mean, we've got this cafecito. Wow. I know. I'm going to give you the you, taste test. I'll, give it a I'll, taste. I'll let you know. Now, here you it. go. Here's one for you. I'm going to okay. be jumping off the Look. wall in a second. <laughs> <laughs> what? So oh they, 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 they Are you did, trying to poison me? They did it right. They just put in a little too much sugar, which is hard for Cuban <laughs> yeah. coffee. Yeah. Oh, my God. That is John, it's it's super nice. sweet. It's yeah. sweet. John, Thank okay. you. Okay. So, wait. So, so this, yeah. this, this is a project that you, you went for immediately. What is the goal here? Are you trying to, um, you know, I don't know, change people's perceptions who may think a certain way? Or are you trying to get people? What are you trying to do exactly? Well, I, I definitely, this is the first of its kind, which yeah. is ridiculous, because we Crazy. Latin people are the oldest yeah. and largest ethnic group in America. And there's never been a show about our culture. Yeah. So this is the first, which is ridiculous. But here I am. I'm, I'm going around the country looking for Latin excellence. You know, yeah. trying to yeah, you make him force him to take a sip. I was going to move it over <laughs> here for him. And, and I just want to, I'm trying to find all my artists, all my politicians, Latin excellence all over America. Yeah. And I went to six cities. I went to New York, uh, D.C., Chicago, L.A., Puerto Rico, and Miami. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it was a blast. Mm -hmm. and, and Hoda, what you end up doing is you learn a lot. Yeah. I mean, I learned a lot even about my own community. Yeah. You laugh, you cry, and, and you really get to enjoy what's great about Latinos in America and uh -huh. how they contribute. John, I want you to tell a story, though. Talk to us about the moment you went to that theater in Washington and oh, you wow. talked to those kids. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. for me, that was a moment that sort of we saw their soul yeah. and we saw your soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, that was that that was that that hurt, that hit me in the heart really oh. hard. These immigrant children, they're they're picked on in school because they have an accent and they feel, you know, they kind of shell shocked. Yeah. That little immigrant PTSD that happens. So this theater group, this incredible woman's had this theater group for 30 years and she brings these children and gives them theater and playwriting and stagecraft and they get and they blossom <laughs> and just being there to see this happen it, it was just and very it, touching. and it touched you because you remember mm -hmm. that story you of talked course. about this yeah i mean I, I was an immigrant kid you know and i went I, it was also we moved into jackson heights when white flight happened so mm -hmm. you know a lot of white people were leaving but before i left they gave me a beating <laughs> and uh, you know so it was rough and then you had a I mean, it, it was good for me in a way because it made me deal with Hollywood in a way because mm -hmm. I don't... Getting a beaten is, is easier than dealing with Hollywood in a mm -hmm. way. You know, so... What do you I, mean by that? I mean, the, the rejection of our culture in this country... I mean, I'm in New York City, which is... The, we're 35%, 30% of the population yeah. equal to whites, but it's like a cultural apartheid. I mean, I never see my people represented mm -hmm. in the New York Times enough. And the, who, how many journalists on the New York Times, New York Post, mm -hmm. Daily News, New York, or New York Magazine? I don't, I don't see our names mm -hmm. or our stories being told in the way they should be told. L.A., it's ho Hollywood, 50% Latino. Mm -hmm. And how many executives are, are, are Latino? That's cultural apartheid. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what's happening. That's and and it's the show is serious, Hoda, but it's yeah. also very funny. And and speaking You're of dancing, Boston, yeah, he's yeah. dancing in every part of it. Uh, I, saw I mean, that. I, st I can't. You can't stop me from dancing. <laughs> I mean, I'm an old guy, but <laughs> but there's a there's a segment where you guys go to L.A. and he's having spicy food with yeah. George Lopez at that taco truck. Yeah. <laughs> and talk about this because you wanted to show your Latino cred that you yeah. could take the hot pepper. Yeah, yeah. But it got but to I'm a East point. Coast Latino, yeah. not a West Coast <laughs> Latino. So yeah, I I I, I, I was crying. My mouth was on fire. I'm trying not to. Show that it's really hurting the hell out of me. I was trying to keep up with George, but George's mocking tough. me. He's going to take my Latino card well, away. Well, you did a great job <laughs> doing what you do and also interviewing, being on the other side of the of, of that coin, which I thought you were great at. But oh, thank you, thank it's you. It's really cool. It makes you happy yeah. to watch. You learn about the food. What are these, real quick? These are pastelitos. Okay. They have guava in it, which is here, here. The guayaba, yeah. Usually one. we cut okay. these in half, but these Why? are um, the these whole thing. nice and big okay. and freshly baked. They're one of my favorites. Mm. Mm. 
My, okay. Oh, no, that's Come on. Great. That's a ten. No, you killed it with this. John Leguizamo. Oh, man. Does America from NBC Studios. Profile that Pachamito right there. Premier Sunday night, 10 that's Eastern. That's a big chunk of guava. I know. That's NMS. never done. They've never done it like this. The Today Show take on. <laughs> you can stream it on Peacock. It didn't great really job. melt. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.